couple of weeks away now from Nathan's big world title Muay Thai fight that's happening on the Gold Coast and uh, we've been following his journey on the web show, he's a legend and uh, we're going to be there filming for sure. So I thought I'd go along and check out Nathan doing his training, I brought Gailey along, we went there after doing our chat at Broadbeach and Gailey played Waterboy and uh, we basically sat back and watched all the hard work. <laughs> Makes it feel lazy, doesn't it? Yeah. Starting tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'll start sometime in the future too. So while Nathan did some uh, warm down exercise, just some slow kicks at the bag, we stepped outside for a chat. <laughs> How are you, bud? Good, mate. Good. Tell us about that session. Oh, Monday session. So uh, Monday is usually the, the hardest session of the week. You know, have the weekend off, sit down, get a bit tight, a bit stiff. Uh, the week before creeps up on you, but yeah, I got through it pretty good, so it shows that uh, I'm, on, I'm on track. So if I do a good Monday session, I know I'm going to have a good week. So. All right, so tell us about like this big fight coming up December 8th, the Gold Coast. Uh, guy from where, Turkey? Yeah, Turkish fighter. He's uh, five times uh, Turkish champion, So, and I think he's uh, second in the world at this stage. Um, so I don't know much about him. I haven't seen him fight, so it's going to be interesting. But uh, Turkish boys are usually pretty tough. Uh, they, they definitely come to fight, and um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I put my title up, and uh, I'm not ready not to be the champ. So, <laughs> so I have to go hard and uh, keep the belt, especially back in Australia. Keep it, keep it real for the Aussies. Now, yeah, mate, you've been getting better since I've known you the last couple of years. Just developing your game. How do you feel about where your career is going? I mean, you're looking like a freak. Uh, you know, that's it. I've been after I won my uh, fifth world title and sat down uh, about 12 months ago and said, well. You know where do you go from here? So, because it's an inner it's an inner goal for me. It's not so much a you know what I win or, or what I create from the outside. It's an inner passion that it keeps burning. So I got to I'm keep fulfilling myself. It's it's the belts that I win from that, but uh, they're not sort of the reason why you know I, I keep going or bettering myself. So saying that, you know, I just get back in the gym and and just work on uh, new new techniques and you know try to refine what I've got and. Um, and learn what I don't have. So tell us about, like, at the moment, we're catching you two weeks before the big fight. Tell everyone out there, like, how hard you work. I mean, it's just inspiring. You're working up a sweat every single day. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. Fight, uh, being a Thai fighter, it's, it's really you know, intense sort of short training sessions where a swimmer might do a three or four hour session or triathlete. We're doing uh, only about, you know, 45 to an hour and a half of work, but the uh, 40 minutes is intense, you know, smashing the pads as you've probably seen on the on the footage and that, but, uh, you know, sprint training, I like to combine my training, sprint training, weight training, but it's all uh, Pacific, so it's all power and explosive, um, and that suits my style, you know, I'm not a 12 round fighter, I'm a 5 round fighter, and uh, I'd rather be a 1 round fighter if I can, so go in there and train hard and destroy. Pure carnage. That's it, just carnage, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to train like the carnage, so it's explosive and it's powerful, but uh, obviously you need to back it up with the uh, you know discipline and endurance as well. And just finally, mate, December 8th, uh, Gold Coast event again. It must be pretty awesome fighting on the Gold Coast. Your reputation on the Goldie now is getting out there. I mean, we're proud of you as a world champion. How's it feel and how's it going to feel December 8th going out there? Oh, it's amazing, Togs. You know, I mean, it's taken so long to, um, you know, I've been doing the sport for eight years, fighting on the Gold Coast, you know, a couple of times a year since then. and. It's only in the last 12 months, you know, the recognition's starting to come, but, you know, that's what it, that's what it takes, you know, you just got to stick in there and, and time will come, but my time again is going to come and it's going to be December 8th at the Convention Centre on the Gold Coast and to fight in front of my fans uh, is, is, you know, is inspiring. That's why I brought the world title back here. I had offers to fight in Europe, in Holland, uh, America and Japan, Macau, but uh, so said, no, you know, I'm the champ, so I'm going to dictate some things. And uh, we're going to we'll bring it back to the Gold Coast and, and let the fans in Australia get to enjoy, you know, the, the uh, history that will we'll go down that night. Rock on. Awesome. Thanks, mate.